What's up guys, Nerd Off Desk here, and today I'm going to be talking about DDWRT and what it means for your router. So if you haven't heard of DDWRT, it's an open source firmware that works on a lot of routers out there. And what it does is allows you to hack the in or hack the software of your router to make it work as some say as good as a $500 plus router. Now I bought this router for $10 on eBay. It was used. It's wireless G. It has uh, you know two antennas. Out of the box, nothing really that special. Like I said, wireless G. You know, very simple. However, I installed DDWRT on it. Now, DDR, DDWRT is not that easy to install and it doesn't work on every single router. My main router doesn't work on it at all. It only works with a couple types of chipsets. Uh, however, you're probably gonna luck out mostly with uh, Linksys or Cisco stuff. It works on some Netgears and some other things, but most of the time it's gonna work on a Cisco or Linksys router. Installing DDWRT can be a little bit of a challenge. Sometimes you only need to log into the gateway address and upload a file and then reboot and you're done. Most of the time though, you're gonna have to do a process called TFTP, which means you gotta like hardwire into it. It can take about, I mean, if you're experienced, it takes about an hour. It's a great learning process and you will learn a lot if you try to install it. So I recommend, you know, just picking something cheap, not as your main router if you wanna play with this. And then once you get it working well, you might want to replace your router. Since this is G and not N, it, there's actually not that much of a difference other than throughput and bandwidth. I mean, there's a little bit of signal strength difference, but other than that, I mean, you know, it really isn't that much different, especially when you start hacking it with DDWRT. So what can you do with DDWRT? Basically, you are able to change any setting on this router. You can overclock the transmitters. You could make this a repeater, you can make this a repeater bridge, you can make this an access point. You could turn all the things on the back into WAN ports, or you can turn everything in the back to LAN ports. You can do whatever the hell you want. You can set up VPNs, you can set up firewalls, you can do all kinds of awesome stuff on this. This makes it an extremely powerful router. Now, I'm a network ma a major in college, so a lot of the settings already make sense to me. But uh, with a little research, I can under you can make this a very very powerful thing to your network. I use this as a repeater because it has to go through a bunch of walls and stuff. I overclock the transmitters about 40 percent and with that overclock I'm able to uh, I'm getting way better internet probably double speed from going here you know through walls and stuff and going through upstairs. So DDWRT uh, you have to check you know uh, links below the DDWRT website check to see if it works, how to install it, you know, do your research about it. I really think that you're going to enjoy it if you try to put it on there. I would show you how to do it. The only problem is it's different for every single router. There is that. You could also, uh, theoretically, you could put this outside uh, in a waterproof case or, you know, seal it up, make it an outside repeater, get Wi-Fi outside. Um, there's so much you could do. There's really like this makes this a very very open platform and a very powerful platform. I'm going to be using this a lot. I mean I've already sold uh, anytime I get a router I check that if it's DDWRT compatible. If it is I'll install it and then uh, I actually put one in a client's house. I was she needed a wireless router so I put it in there. She has a huge house with the overclock things. It doesn't get too hot and it easily you know spans the entire house she can put her laptop wherever she wants uh, opposed to i actually put the transmitters back she was only getting like halfway and that was uh that was a end router and it was very similar to this one i think you should check it out if you have a linksys or cisco router go ahead and check it out if you have a netgear or something like that it's worth a shot so you know if you've used ddwrt before let me know in the comments below don't forget to check out that website for the link i'm nerd help desk and i'll see you guys later